everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we'll be focusing on making 10 to subtract. Before we get into the lesson, let's remember that subtract is to take part away from the whole. So I have a whole and I separate it into part, part. Here I have 5 minus 3 equals 2. I started with 5 and separated into two parts, 3 and 2. Very good. Okay, so the examples we are about to work through require a series of steps. First, we will break apart the number being subtracted to get 10. Second, we will subtract the first part. And third, we will take our answer and subtract the second part. Okay, before we get into the lesson, let's go ahead and look at different ways to make 10. When you know how to do this part, this lesson will be way easier for you, okay? We have 20 minus 10 equals 10. We know that because 10 plus 10 equals 20. That's a doubles fact. So we got that out of the way, right? Now let's look at the other numbers. I have 19 minus 9, 18 minus 8, 17 minus 7, 16 minus 6, 15 minus 5, 14 minus 4, 13 minus 3, 12 minus 2, 11 minus 1. All of those are different ways to get 10. Watch this. 19 minus 9. So I cross off the 9 in the 1's place because I'm taking it all away and it becomes 0. So that's 10, right? 19 minus 9 equals 10. 18 minus 8. Cross off the 8 that's being subtracted and it turns into a 0. So that would be 10, right? So that's how it works with all of these. I have 13 minus 7. Let's remember that the first step was to break apart the number being subtracted so that when I do 13 minus that first part, I get 10. Okay? If I do 13 minus 3, I get 10. So of course I want my 7 to break up into 3 and what? 3 plus what is 7? Well, let's go ahead and hold a fist and say 3 and jump up until we get to 7. Then we will see how many fingers it took to get from 3 to 7. Ready? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It took 4 fingers. 3 plus 4 equals 7. All I did was take my 7 and break it up. Okay? If I have 7 seashells, and I put 3 over here and 4 over here, I still have 7, okay? I'm still taking away all 7. I'm just doing it in two different steps, 3 and 4, okay? So step 2 was to subtract 13 minus 3. And we already know that the 3 cancels out this 3 and makes it a 0. So we have 10. Very good. Step 2 is complete. Okay, step three was to take our answer and subtract the second part, which is this one. Okay, so now I have 10 minus 4. 10 fingers, put 4 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 minus 4 equals 6. 15 minus 8. So the first step is to break apart our 8 so that when I do 15 minus the first part, I get 10. We already know that I have to look at this number. 15 minus 5 will give me 10. So of course I want to break up my 8 into 5 and something else. 5 plus what equals 8? Let's hold a fist and say 5 and jump up until we get to 8. Then I will see how many fingers it took to get from 5 to 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. 3. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Step 2, subtract. 15 minus 5. We already know that this 5 cancels this 5 out, so we get 10, right? The 1 comes over. And this 5 canceled this one out into 0. Step 3, take your answer, 10, and subtract the second part, 
which is this one right here, three. 10 minus three. I have 10 fingers, cut three down. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. So 10 minus three equals seven. Very good. 17 minus nine. Step one, break apart the nine so that when I do 17 minus the first part, I get 10. In order to get 10, let's look at this number. 17 minus seven will give me 10. So of course, I want to break up the nine into seven and what, okay? Seven plus what equals nine, ready? Seven, eight, nine, two. Seven plus two equals nine. So I'm still doing 17 minus nine, only now I'm deciding, you know what, I'm gonna do it first. I'm just gonna take away seven, and then I'm gonna take away two. But all together, I'm still taking away nine, right? Step two, 17 minus seven. This seven cancels this seven out into zero, right? So that's 10. Very good. Okay, step three, take your answer, 10, and subtract the second part, which is two. 10 minus two, one, two. That's five, six, seven, eight. 10 minus two equals eight. So all of these steps gave me eight. If I have 17 marbles and took away nine, I would have gotten eight. This whole process was a strategy to use to do 17 minus nine, okay? Okay guys, that wraps up today's lesson on making 10 to subtract. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and found it very useful. Something I recommend for you to do is to go ahead and rewind this video to the part where we wrote our three steps. If you write those three steps down, you can then use your notes to do your own problems at home. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye guys!